Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. One of you guys did a Saturday request video. Want to know how can I keep my home cooler on a budget? That's what I'm going to get started and talk about today. And I'm actually going to show you around the house and I'll just show you a couple things. My father who lives in Phoenix, Arizona has solar powering. So he actually saves a lot more money than I do. Now, our home was built in 1962. It's a three bedroom, one and a half bath. And our home is little bit less than 1400 square feet. So just to kind of let you know that, uh, we have our bill on average billing and our electric portion of the bill averages $132 a month. We do have central air and heating. So I do want to show you that. I am next going to show you a little bit around my home and I'm going to take you outside and just give you a few hints. One hint I'll start off with right now is you're probably saying, Dawn, the lighting is terrible. Well, one huge way that keeps our home cooler, and I know this might seem common sense, we make sure to keep all doors closed and no cracks, you know, and anything just slightly opened or anything so that hot air can get in. And I keep all of our blinds shut and I keep minimal lights on. Lights create heat. Like one of my friends, she lights candles during the summer. I do not do that because I notice they heat the house. So keeping all the shades pulled and we have really good shades that block out light and keeps the heat out of the house. That really helps. So I'm going to show you around the house and then take you outside and tell you a couple other things we do. Okay, here is our thermostat. Now, some people keep theirs cooler, some people keep it warmer. You're about to hear the air conditioning come on. We keep it at 76. Some people keep it hotter than that. Some people keep it cooler. I have a friend that keeps it at 70. I have another friend that keeps it at 79. But we keep it at the same temperature all the time. And I think that does help us with our air conditioning bill. We have ceiling fans all around our home. This fan is going counterclockwise, which is how you were supposed to have it set up in the summer. In the winter, you have it go clockwise. So in the summer, it is pulling the hot air up. And in the winter, it'll pull the hot air down because we will switch the direction of the fan. I also do keep our ceiling fan and bulbs changed out and keep them clean. And the bulbs that we put in here are low light bulbs so they don't throw off a lot of heat. Really quick, I drink a lot of cold water. I keep cold drinks in our refrigerator. We also have ice there and we make sure to drink a lot of cold drinks and that actually cools off our entire body. We also take cool showers. I do not turn this on really hot. I love to take cold showers so that way it really cools you off for a long period of time. I also dampen these wash rags and soak them and then put them in the freezer and then wrap them around my neck. That really helps. Another thing is to keep a fan on you. It is not the same thing as air conditioning, but it certainly helps in addition to using air conditioning. It really helps to cool you off. And if you want, I have not done this myself, but I heard you can put ice in front of the fan and that really helps cool you off as well. Let me know if any of you have tried that. Guys, I wanted to show you these blinds. These blinds are really old. I have one of my friends that gave me a referral to somebody that puts in blinds. This was a fantastic investment. This really, I know, helps me save on electric bill and keeps our home cooler because we keep these shut. Now, they're not the same thing as, you know, the blackout curtains, but this keeps out a lot of the light. We have it done here. This is one example right here. Another example right there. And it really, really helps. We have it all around the house. Okay, here's another place with the blinds. We keep all of this shut. Now I have the light on right now because I'm filming. But keeping these shut 
really keep the house much cooler and we keep most of our lights off. But these blinds were a wonderful investment because before when we had curtains, they held on to a lot of the heat and they got dusty. These blinds are fabulous and they're easy to clean. Just wanted to share. Okay guys, last but not least, this is our condenser part of our air conditioner. One very important thing that I do is I do have this serviced. It's really important to do that. I have it serviced twice a year. And if there's things that they see that are wrong with it, I get it fixed. The reason why is because if you put these things off and all of a sudden your air conditioning decides to go out when it's over 100 degrees, that your house can get really hot really fast. We've had that happen five years ago and it was absolutely miserable and it actually took two days to cool the house down. So I do make sure to keep this up to date. Also, and I'll walk towards it, as you can see, this is not dirty or yucky. The reason why is we clean it off. You got to keep this stuff clean because otherwise the air will not circulate and it will slow down your air conditioner. It will not work as efficiently. In addition to that, I've already shown you guys this before. I change my filters out once a month and I keep my unit really, really clean. I have it checked on often to make sure it is as efficient as possible. That is why my electric bill is only $132. There's other people in my neighborhood that their electric bill is twice as what mine is. Hey guys, I have one more awesome tip on keeping cool in the summer. Move the heck out of Texas where it's over 100 degrees every single day during the month of July and August and move back to Minnesota or move in with one of you guys for the summer. That's my best budget tip. Just teasing. But the summers are brutal here, but there are ways to manage it. But I'm going to tell you one thing and I suggest it to everybody is really staying hydrated and drinking proper amount of water, not over hydrating, but drinking water because I think so many times during hot weather, people can get dehydrated. And so we want to make sure to drink water slowly throughout the day. So you're, you have proper hydration that will really help cool your body off. Always check with your doctor though on what's right for you. So I want to know how you're saving money. Do any of you live in a really hot climate? If so, how do you stay cool? Speaking of that, it is blowing hot air out here and it's over 100 degrees outside. So I'm going to step back indoors. Also, if you guys have central air, what do you keep your thermostat at? Just curious. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And any other requested videos, please email them to me and I will do a video on it on a Saturday. Thank you. Love you. Bye.